shames of the internet, we're back with Dark Soul. Two. It's our second recording session. At this point in time, literally part five is going up right now as we speak. Uh, it's been about two weeks since we last came on. Benjamin, I have learned quite a bit about the game thanks to all you lovely people commenting. Uh, of which I will list right now. So first up, there is a stat called adaptability. The game doesn't tell you this, Oh. but this stat actually increases your iframes when you dodge it. Yeah, I saw And it also comment. increases the speed of when you take your Estus flasks, your gems, your magic. It's quite, it's quite as, as the name suggests, it helps you adapt quite a fair bit. So it's actually quite a good stat. That's the, a very important stat. Resistance is, it's kind of a semi like a resistance, but with better perks. So it's a better form of resistance because when you increase it, your poison resistance goes up and your burn resistance and actually it goes oh, up as well. Okay. Um, I've been told if you cap it to about 15, then you don't need to use it anymore. Oh. But it's just more iframes and your dodges and whatnot. Right. Uh, second of all, you don't attack walls. You walk up to them, you hug them, and you press the X button, which is not How? what we're used to at all. And the How? game also does not tell you this. How did anyone get that? <laughs> Apparently people have told me they've been through this entire game about knowing. That's amazing. And apparently there are hidden bonfires between some of them as well, just like in the first game. So yeah, pretty important mechanic that the game's not telling you about, but you have to press the action button to activate the invisible walls, which is pretty fucking nuts, to be honest. So we probably missed a few then on our way here. Probably, yeah. yeah. Oh well, what can you do? Uh, third of all, torches. You can light them... Uh, I think you can light them at a bonfire. <laughs> oh, okay. I've I found out how to light at a bonfire, but apparently you can. Okay. I lit my old torch while I was grinding off screen. Yes, I haven't been grinding off screen. To uh, I, I lit it on one of the torches in the things betwixt. Ah, oh, alright. And it lasted for about 40 minutes. Wow. And I, I don't know if that's like a combination of the torches we got, or if that was just one singular torch. Well, the last torch we had only lasted five minutes, so I'm going yeah. to go and assume that's a combination of all your torches. Well, so I'm assuming as well. It made more sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. Also, by the way, uh, on the bridge in the Fallen Giants area, there was a ladder I completely fucking missed. Oh. It was the one on the bit where you fight the Stone Golem, where uh. all the on the bridge with the exploding barrels. Yeah. Uh, there was a ladder I missed. It's hard to commentate and play games at the same time. Go figure. Uh, went up there. It's a struggle. If you look down at that little bo that little number at the bottom where Esther's flask is. <gasps> we got two! See, it's at two. There was a fucking Esther shard up there. Oh, <laughs> man. Which would have been super useful against the pursuer. But, oh, wow. You know, well, we, Joe. I need the handicap. Yeah. yeah. You did it with one, so be proud. Yeah, game of pride. I cheated with magic. Woohoo. So now we've got Esther's flask to two. I've also learned. Upon my grinding, yeah. that if you kill an enemy over 10 or 15 times, it's gone. Oh, it shit. It disappears from the game completely. Wow. It's it's basically an anti-grind feature, which I suppose is okay, so it makes, it makes sure you don't overpower yourself completely. That's actually a good feature, actually. I managed to get myself up to 10 levels just by grinding one of the giants off the first bonfire, because when you kill it, you get a 1,000 souls. Yeah. And there's also a drop rate of getting a uh, uh, proud soul as well, which you can get an extra 2,000 souls for. Ah. So if you're lucky, you get 3,000 souls on each kill on Vajaya. Ooh. But I've exhausted that now. I've killed oh, him about yeah. 10 times and he's fucked off now, so I can't do that anymore. Okay. Uh, I think that's about it from what I've covered so far. All right. I, th I think that's it. So well, yes. Thank you very much for all your comments, guys. Thank that, you very much, super guys. Super helpful. Very helpful. Sorry we couldn't take it to heart during the first of six parts. Obviously, you're completely blind. But now we're a bit more savvy on what to do now. So, play Fordius. Play Fordius. How Give are you in. feeling now? You look a bit different as well. He looks a little bit fucked up. I've learned also that the more you hollow out the actual facial changes, the actual face changes as well. That's really cool. You, you get worse and worse and worse the more your health gets cut, which is a pretty cool addition. It, it's, it kind of conveys how bad this curse is in yeah. this game. And I gave him a hat. Hey. He's got like a proper like artistic French beret hat now. That's a very gentlemanly kind of like, like a merging hat. He's yeah. still rocking the birds, the bird shoulder of as well. And that's He's a man uh, of culture. That's it. That's about it. So last time we unlocked a place called the Lost Bastille. We can either do that, or we could try and take on Heyday's Tower of Flame again. 
I think we should go to this place, the Lost Basile. Yeah? Yeah. You think? Uh, yeah. We could do. The only thing that's concerning me is that that comes after. Oh, okay, yeah, I like, see what you mean. Yeah, okay, Tower yeah. Flame. Let's go to Hades Tower Flame then. Yeah, you sure? Yeah, you, yeah, you good job, right. Yeah, give it yeah. a go. Yeah. All right, fine. We're going there. Let's go. Sorry, I completely forgot there is there is in fact more things I forgot to mention during the intro. Um, recognize this merchant? Ah, oh. it's Moss Lady. What's she doing back here? I mean, it's not Moss Lady, but she's Moss Lady's Dark Souls Two counterpart. I like to find. She's here. The hag is here. She's got all the shit that she sells before. What we need to save up for, by the way, Benjamin. Yeah. Is this thing here? Oh. We need to restore living things from petrification. Okay. That's going to be super useful because there are two uh, two places that we could go to if we get rid of the statues there. Um, There's that one um, that blocks the mist wall in the things betwixt. Oh, and okay. there is also one where that guy, the holy moonlight blade is. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. There are. So we do need to get one of these and decide where we're going to go next after that as well. Okay. Also... I think we need to check out the mansion as well. You know that bit where we went down, we're like, oh no, we shouldn't go down here. Yeah. I think if you clear this area of the enemies, then, um, Kale, I think his name is, he appears, the map man. Oh. So we should probably go down here and clear out where the fuck's right. spent in this place. And today we're going into the mansion then. Indeed, so we should totally go for it. Let's do it. I don't think it's a new area, but... This is where the music stops. And this is where we thought, nah, let's turn around. <laughs> There's like a tiny bit of flame down there. Alright. Well, there's nothing down here. So actually had nothing down here. Oh. Oh no, there oh, is. Oh no, in the step case. Step case. Sorry, staircase. Jesus. Oh no! You guys! <gasps> oh! The skeleton fuckers! Oh please, no, not not a repeat. If you stay dead once I've killed you. Can you do that? Let's test it. Oh god, don't turn into your psycho crushers again. Oh they're dead. I got souls. And they died. He's Human dead. effigy, what? Is that permadeath or can I farm these assholes? That's interesting. No, that's, that's dead. Oh man, okay. Ooh, okay, we're going we're gonna ooh, There's we... a torch thing there as well. What's this? I still, st I still come. It's just flash shot. <gasps> Free! Why don't we come down here before? Holy shit! Look carefully. Energy war ahead. Let's give it a go. I can't do it because these things in the way. Uh, what? Oh god! I pressed that by accident. Shit! What's the action part in this game again? It's not the attack button. Oh, is it a fucking troll one again? No, it's X. I pressed X. Doesn't work. Maybe it's somewhere else. I can't press X because I'm toggling between the blood stains and the message reading. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Why'd they put it there then? There's a chest here. For a second there, I thought that was going to be a mimic. Soul vessel? What's a soul vessel? Let's find out. Oh god, I've got so much shit now. I should probably start putting stuff in my item box. Wow. Actually, I should look at the Estus Flask shard info as well. The shard of an Estus Flask. Shards are deeply soaked in Estus. So shards are deeply... So this is basically a boo-soaked crystal. Oh. And it increases flask uses. Over the age, countless souls rested their bones as they drank from the original flask. The original... Wait, there was an original flask? There was an original flask. Oh, shit. There was an original fucking brand of booze that people drank. And now the shard remains, serving as a vestige of their hopes and dreams. What if it's like a Pleidonius ancestor before Pleidonius who invented the original? You think the the original <laughs> shard, the original flask, is Pleidonius's flask? <laughs> yeah, it could be. We're getting some deep floor, man. It could be Pleidonius and flaming Pleidonius. Because this is Dark Souls One in the future, apparently. So, uh, so this could technically be the flaming Pleidonius is like... People have learned to drink like Pleidonius to heal their wounds yeah. and stop their hollowing. There you go, Pleidonius did something good, ladies and gents. <laughs> We've added to the law. He prolonged the inevitable. <laughs> He's a hero. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, so we're going to start the recording session. We're already building up law on Pleidonius. Hey. 
a soul vessel, a vessel that will accept your souls. It can allow reallocations of levels, but without proper assistance, it may simply drain you of souls. Oh. If you truly wish to start again, go to the place where your journey began. Oh, so you give this to the fire keepers and you can reallocate your points. Oh, okay, pretty yeah, much. that's what... Um, it's the reset yeah, item. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Have we learned that all the... By the way, maybe that's the invisible wall there that they were talking about. Maybe try pressing X on that wall. Oh, shit. No? That looks pretty... Nah, guess not. Nah, nothing. If they say invisible walls and they stick these messages right in front of them, then you're not going to have access to them if X is the button to get to them. And Unless it's another troll message again, and you actually, there is no illusionary wall. Oh. I can also I mean, be a thing. That Remember that yeah. the Dark Souls community is fickle and trollish like that. It's true. Can't trust they them are. sometimes. Well, there was nothing down there, like of value then, like of horror value. Unless there's anything else. You know what's confusing? Really fucking weird messages of high ratings. Try horse, but are you ready? Or do I need do I need to wear the skin of a horse to get by this illusionary wall or like what? <laughs> what? You just have to wear a horse's head and you just ride on it. I don't know. Liar ahead. Oh I get it because it's not a real treasure chest. Oh. I understood that reference. Alright. So it's totally worth us coming down here. We got ourselves an Estius flask, Shard. There was a bit more down there. Did you not see the other room? What? There was another room, like, right to the side there. Like, no, no, you went past it. Pretty sure we went in there, bit. Did we? Yeah, it leads up. Oh. What the fuck is that sound? Oh, it's these arsehole oh, pig yeah, the pigs. things. I don't uh, know what they are. They look like a pig rats. There wasn't, like, anything scary down there. I thought it was going to be, like, a freaking... There's a weird skeleton, man. So next time you come here, hopefully Kale will be here. Oh, okay. Is that that's the map man, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a map man. Yeah. All right, cool. Got with that, we've got three Estus flasks. Is that a shard you found? Yeah. Here, let me see it, so that I may help you to see light, to see hope. Oh, However, to see an end to this. Give hey. me some hope, Miss Herald. We now have. Three Estus flasks. My belief came stronger. Now I have three flasks. Hooray! Well, that Taddy's finally gonna make a comeback, it looks like. The Taddy mechanic of our drinking game. It's slowly getting there. It's been painful doing it during editing because when you do the life gem, it's an instant sip. Yeah. Whereas when you do the flask, it just one appears and that's it. Yeah. It actually had the counter almost has not gone up to two yet. <laughs> it's because of the only one Estus flask drinking rule, <laughs> yeah. which is pretty funny. <laughs> it's slowly coming back. The golden days of Dark Souls 1 sip taddies will be back with us soon. Hey. All right. Let's go take on this tower. Yes. To the tower. Oh, man. Let's see if we can actually survive this this time. I reckon we can. You're what level were you? Level 50? Level 40 something. Oh, 40. Okay. We're actually level 40, like 9 or 8. We're almost halfway to level 100 already. That's crazy. Oh, dude. Give it a go. Alright, I'm gonna fire this guy fair and square. Hey. You're actually, um, not. Doing pretty decent. Yeah, you're not actually doing bad with the sword. Play Fordius has kind of, like, got good sword skills here. The days of being nerfed with his magic are making him more stronger in his swordsmanship skills. Pale stone? What the fuck is that? What's a pale stone? I wish there was like a way to organize this in like alphabetical order. Oh, there is. I'm pretty sure there is. I just can't be fucked to do it. Pale stone? I can't say it. Maybe it's not a... Huh? Is it? Is there anything else in your inventory? I don't know. No. Oh, I haven't equipped the Ring of the Blades? What the fuck? Oh, what's this? Pale stone. Oh, it's... Oh, it's a uh, material. Oh, what's the lore on it? Removes additional powers. So, uh, for titanite. 
using a weapon or shield to undo all imbued powers. This does not revert reinforcement, but undoes imbued powers such as magic. Oh, okay, so if you make a weapon into fire or lightning, this, this, this strap gets rid of it. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like a customizational thing. Like, yeah. say you want that upgrade, but you don't want the fire and lightning. Oh, that's cool. Huh. I well, this game is giving you a lot more options in terms of customization, which is quite nice. It even gives you a reset this time around. Yeah, that is. Whereas in Dark Souls 1, that was it. You couldn't go back when you start applying your stats. Whereas in this one, you can. Someone did say sort out your item belt. Did they? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry if I said that. You're not going to see that in quite a while. I think it was Mellow. Oh, was it? Oh, sorry, Mellow. <laughs> Ring of the Blades. But Play for this is meant to be a civil man. Is he, is he unorganized? Yeah, well, you know, he's just got to this world. He's nervous. He's a hollow. He's undead. <laughs> Once he finds his stride, which he slowly is, he'll be okay. Oh! And now he's got a deal. Oh, shit, that was a fast sword swipe. Yeah, it is a fast sword swipe. Surprise magic. Whoa! Did he just fucking dodge that? He did. Also, I was thinking, if you wanted to, you could you could have a have a, a fun rule. What's that? What is this fun rule that you speak of? Is it actually fun or is it horrible? It, 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 it's to it's to make things a little bit more balanced so we don't end up cheesing like all the enemies. Oh my god, are you actually gonna punish me for using spells? No, no, no. I'll tell you what, if you go all the if you like like I tell you what, if you like rinse all your spells, you cannot use the revival like spell thing. What? Like, I've spelled spell. You know, like, you can get your spell, like, more ammo back from your... Oh, using the herbs? Yeah. I feel like that makes it too easy. You feel you feel like I should handicap myself? Yes. Dude, those herbs were clutched during the pursuer fight. Are you going to take that away from me now? <laughs> yes. Are you fucking with me? I mean, I feel like it's to, to make it what if I say I don't want to? Oh, well, I feel like it'd be fun. Oh, I try to... You filthy, filthy, <laughs> filthy community. <laughs> This filthy community. <laughs> More I, fun, yeah? Yeah, just so we don't rely on magic way too much. Sure. And it makes it more like, you know, like a more... Like, you know, less like I can spam it sort of thing. Like I'm doing right now, yeah. Yeah, like that. Like you're just blindly wasting it. Am I blindly wasting it though, Benjamin? Or are you actually trying to push this? Ah! The fucking magic! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh, I did grind a little bit in this area, and I came across this contraption thing. I pulled it, and this weird, weird, weird like ring thing inside of it raised up. So I think if you go right, we can go up this like weird tower thing. Yeah, I think if so you, you check out. if you use the herb, you get punished. Okay. You have to take. We have to take five sips. Five sips. Okay, so I, I can still use it, but we'll get punished. Yeah. It. Christ, man. So what, are they alcoholic herbs now? Yes. God, are you saying that magic is powered by alcohol now? It makes sense. What the fuck? How are the Pleidonians just influencing history like this? So <laughs> they're booze antics. And... It makes sense. Oh my god. It's it's Playfordius's magic, and Playfordius has found the way to like. Generate magic through the booze. Oh my god. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> He's a smart dude, man. That was what was that? That, that was, was like, weird. <laughs> like he almost lost his balance or some <laughs> shit. God, that hits you from everywhere. Oh shit. Ooh, good dodge. Ooh. That's oh, wait, that goes to the tally. Oh, I'm so. I'm so used, used to, to the life other gems. gems. Yeah. Yeah. All right, contestant number two, come on down. Oh shit! No, not two at the same time. Fuck off. Final blow! Oh, now he pisses off. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, 
I love my rapier. Yeah, it's pretty cool, actually. It's this proper, like, a have out of you kind of weapon. Yeah. All it does is stab, stab, stab. <laughs> but it's satisfying when you get the kill off of it. And it really fits Play for Audius's kind of, like, civilness. It's classy demeanor. Yeah, it does. Like, it's, like, really classy, you know. And by classy, I mean basically a, a mer traveling merchant with a fucking stupid <laughs> wooden bird on his shoulder. God, that's so extra. Oh. That's so bait, man. Play for yes, man. That's even spare. even interesting. Play do play do play. What what's the blood? We just call him play donuts. It's an interesting. Play it's bait, bear, and extra all at the same time. <laughs> Sorry, British slang. I'm gonna try and parry this guy. Go for it. Ooh, oh, oh, fucked up the parry. That's close. Oh shit! Okay, we got backstabs. Oh dear. He's fast. His, his sword swing's pretty quick. Should probably heal. I would say that's. A oh. He whiffed that hard, thank fuck. Oh, that would have got you, mate. Dude, these soldiers have got skills. Never mind, you just let me go behind him. <laughs> and he gets one last backhand in. <laughs> Scumbag. Oh. Okay, so this is the area where I activated the, the lever. And there's a mist wall there, too. Ooh. Fun times. Okay. The lever. This place again? The one I just told you about. Oh, the one oh. Over there, but you talked over me and forgot about it. Sorry. It's okay. This is how it goes during our Dark Souls playthroughs. I should have known. We get used to it. This guy's gone in that treasure chest. It's time for me to put in my snipe visor. This is so scummy. I love it. <laughs> Oh, please get knocked off. Yeah, that magic spell is definitely going to be a pain. <laughs> nah, you have can't. people like, dude, this is the scummiest build in the world. And it's like, oh, I'm just stabbing people occasionally too. You know? <laughs> as long as I don't abuse it. I think, yeah, okay, Ben, it's fair enough that I have that handicap. Yeah. I suppose. Not that much of a handicap, because it's only if I want to get more of it. Yeah. But I suppose in a way it makes me not use magic as much, because I know that if I'm going to try and get it back, it means five sips. Yeah. Ring of Binding? The fuck is a Ring of Binding? Ring of Binding. Limits- <gasps> Wait, what? Unusual Ring on the Origin. Limits to wearer's HP reduction when hollow. Oh, that's Alas, a good one. This ring will not make you human. What is lost is not easy to retrieve, but at least you can nerf it. Holy oh, fucking shit, that's, that's amazing. One. Okay, what one do I get rid of? Uh, Which one did you just take off? Additional reduction of enemy poise. Uh, mm. Limits HP reduction. Uh, gradually restores HP. I think the gradually restores HP one's kind of crap. It's a bit of shit, and also I hate that effect. Yeah. Because I can't see shit around my character. Some stupid dumb pixie dust. It's just I think you should get rid of that It's one. just blinding my character. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. All right. I will do what Benjamin says. Fuck yes, bro. Like, because you have free Estus Flask now as well, so... Yeah. Like... That's, that's going to be good, though. That means using less human effigies. Yeah. So I'm happy about that. Okay. Ooh, he looks like a big dude. Oh, he led me with that one. I can't tell when he's going to stop attacking or not. Fuck! <laughs> there we go. Rinsed away. Nice. Oh, man. If I get Rigor and Dex, I need, like, a weapon like the Blades of Mercy from Bloodborne. Just tear through people and rinse their health and just ruin their poise and, like, no stagger resistance. Try jumping, you're hilarious. Might have just Kratos my way through this, <laughs> shall I? <laughs> Wait. Wait, there is something down there. I think that's just a reflection. Are you sure? Yeah, that's fucking no, no way, it's total death. Mm. 
That's most definitely death. Maybe we have to take a leap of faith. Fuck no, that's total death. <laughs> What's through here? Oh, oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh! Surprise oh. boss fight! <laughs> okay, what we got? I was not the dragon rider. This dude rides a dragon. I wasn't expecting this. Where's the dragon? This is the rider. Oh man. Okay, it's fine. Oof. Ow. Okay, he's got very fast stabs. I was not expecting a boss like this. We just walked in, there was no like cutscene or anything. Oh, that was all your poison, wasn't it? Oh, that's such a fast stab, holy fuck! I'm gonna use that life pistol? I will when I get a chance. Remember, it goes on the tag during the boss fight. Oh, yeah, that's right. During boss fights, life gems go on the tag because I can't fucking drink instantly when I'm under siege by a freaking boss. That's fair, that's fair. Oh, oh Jesus oh. Christ! Onto a short sword. Playfordius is uh, quite well equipped, I see. Still. He's ready for anything. He just swaps them out like candy. Oh, I should, oh, well, I, actually, I should say one. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'll play 40 like that. I didn't even get that joke. Well, I would mean like the weapons, he just throws them away. Like, I don't know, man. This guy is no, about he... his magic. And I don't think he gives a crap about a woman. Unless he wants, like, human experiments. Okay, now we're getting dark. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Oh, no! uh, he didn't put it away in time! Raise your shield, boy! He wants to use that gem shield back up, you muffet! How many was that, Benjamin? That was only one life gem. No, that was two life gems. That's... Oh. And of course, a flask, so that's five sips. Oh, shit, yeah, you had all those flasks, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's five sips. Oh! And so it begins. Yep. We'll see you guys back at the boss. Oh. Yeah, man, there was no cutscene or anything. It was just like, bam, boss fight. Well, <laughs> we get that a lot with the original Dark Souls stuff. We did, actually. Actually, you're right, we did. I was just so used to this game, though, because the two bosses we've had so far have been cutscenes. Yeah, they had cutscenes with a weird, veiny kind of looking yeah. effect around it. Yeah. And this one's just like, yo, you're in a boss fight, fucking go! Over here. Get away from the wall. Thank you. All right. Oh yeah, that's right. The wall. It can. They can still get you from before you get inside. Round two. There we go. All right. All right. For real, easy this time. That stagger, man. Okay, there is a possibility he can knock me off if I fuck this off. Because when I get stabbed, it sends you quite a fair bit flying. That rapier does quite a bit of damage to him, though. I'm using the short sword at the moment. Oh, I thought it was rapier, sorry. Yeah, that short sword is quite... Oh, we didn't repair our weapon! I think it automatically repairs when you rest at a bonfire. Really? I think it does, I need to double check that. Once I've, you know, got rid of this guy. Second form. Oh shit! Follow up. Too hey. slow, buddy. No magic required. Achieved, and that's a water. Dragon Rider Soul. There we go. Ooh. Hey, really? third boss down. And we gotta read that. Please, lore. you're not even good enough for my magic. Unworthy. Once I figure out how to do my. There we go. Unworthy. Unworthy of my magic. There we go. Close range battle and then destroy. 
Yeah, I felt like I did magic anyway. He probably would have just like prodded me and knocked me off. So <laughs> I think that's for the best. We just went on for a bit of a melee. Shall we read the lore on that? Yes, thing? let's do it. He wasn't so bad. He, he that felt that felt like a mini boss. I think the fact that he wasn't accompanied by a cutscene like the other ones yeah. is like yeah, this is a mini boss. Yeah. Soul of a Dragon Rider who faithfully served King Vendrick. Long ago, the Dragon Riders mounted worms and were feared on the battlefield for their unparalleled strength. Use a Dragon Rider soul to acquire numerous souls to create something of great worth. Oh. Ooh, we'll probably get his weird halberd thing yeah, going yeah. on. So how much do you bet that that boss is going to come back again but as an all-enemy? Probably. I've got a feeling. It seems like that kind of guy enemy, doesn't it? Yeah. I've got a feeling it might do. Oh, man. Right, where's that water? Back of the potion. Hey. Play 4DS's healing elixir. Ah. Ah. I forgot how satisfying it was to just dodge attacks perfectly and just getting counter attacks and just not getting hit, like moving back and forth, ducking and weaving. And just slowly, like, you chipping know... Chipping away at their health. Yeah, chipping away at their health. That felt good. That yeah. felt good. I like the style of the rapier. Just fucking poking them full of holes until they can't go on <laughs> any further. It's pretty satisfying <laughs> to take a big guy like him down with that. Nice. All right. Uh, oh. This is a... Uh, hmm. That looks like a new idol animation when they're low on health. Oh. He's looking, he's looking down and looking all tired and shit. I never noticed that. Let's see, uh... This makes a difference. It does? Yeah, it totally it's, does. It's oh, that's a nice little addition. It's a cool little thing. Yeah, that's nice. Alright, wicked. Cool. Shall we press on? Yeah, why not? We beat the Dragon Rider. Let's see what lies on ahead. So, you could the Dragon Rider, but where's the dragon? If we know where the dragon is. Remember getting burned alive? In the same area? Yeah. <gasps> a bonfire! Yeah! Oh, nice! Oh, check if your thing comes back when you set up on fire. Yeah, let's stick it quickly. Alright. Oh, right here, right here. Oh, that's good. So, the, the small durability is made up for when you set up on fire then. Yeah, confirmed. It comes yeah. back. Yeah. So this is new to Dark Souls 2. They have lowered the weapon durability. It's like a new gameplay mechanic, pretty much, where yeah. it's like, how long can you go through this one area without breaking all your weapons? Yeah. I suppose that makes sense when I gave you three slots instead of two this time, just to uh, mix up the gameplay a little bit from the first game. Yeah. Okay, that's fair enough. There's also, someone sitting there. I also learned, by the way, from yeah. some comments here and there, that the original build of Dark Souls 2 had a glitch where um, I can't remember what kind of weapon it was, but there was a glitch where because of the frame rate, yeah. it counts as losing double durability oh. when you hit someone. So you'd be losing twice as much durability if we were playing the vanilla game. Oh my god. Which is pretty nuts. That's bad. Yeah, man. That was a blood strap bug as well. Wow. Try ru oh, god. Seriously. Who are you? Are you from these parts? No. My name is Lysia. Lysia. I have come to spread the art of miracles, a practice of which I am a disciple. Miracles? Pfft, don't follow it. I can see that you are well suited to comprehend their wondrous power. Maybe another what version of me. That's for your heart to decide. Is this miracles? Lysia of Lendil. I she said miracles, so I assume it. Yeah. Cleric Sacred Chime. Oh yeah, it is miracles. Mmm. It's got is that electric properties down there? I'm glad you can do this in Dark Souls too, that's just nice. We can just go onto the stats and find out what they say. That is lightning. It's lightning and and dark. Influence of faith and intelligence on dark attack. It scales with lower these two attributes. Yeah, people are saying there's also a new form of magic as well called hexes, oh. where if you combine faith and intelligence together, you can oh. do some insane, like, crazy-ass magic. And oh, my God. I don't know if we'll ever go down that line because yeah. we're straight on feeling intelligence right yeah. now and not faith. 
But uh, it's, if, if something requires high intelligence and low thief, I might look into it. Okay. So this is a catalyst. For miracles and hexes, so this isn't really for play for audience. This no. is more for a thief slash hex build. This is for someone else in the past life. To use miracles, equip a sacred chime and attune a miracle at a bonfire. The strength of most miracles is affected by the caster's faith. Yes, it's totally yeah, miracle based. Miracle what about stuff. ring? Ring of increases prayer faith. increases faith. Ring blessed by the high priest of Olgan increases faith. The clerks of the great city of Volgan are perennially entrenched in scandalous power struggles, but among them remain a few strong world upstanding noblemen. So there's been a war here. Oh my. Wow, that's a lot of miracles. Alright, what faith we got for Dark Souls 2? We've got heal, medium heal, great heal. Wow, all the tiers of healing are all here already. That's crazy. That would be nice in Dark Souls 1. Replenishment, I think that's regen. Represcendant life. And that's a buff to regen. Caressing prayer. Caressing prayer. Our moves all debuffs. Force. Ugh. Oh. That's back. Lightning spear. That was a Predonia oh staple God. back in the day. The homeward bone. Well, the homeward spell. Yeah. And the guidance one. Nice. So this is where you go if you want your faith shit. Oh this, man. this woman here. Sweet. She's got a lot. Yeah, so, anything else you can tell us about yourself or this place? I'd heard awful rumours about this place, and I'm afraid they were all true. The king, gone. The earth, ravaged. The burden on the people weighs heavy. I fear that, by now, they may have scarce room in their hearts for miracles. Mm -hmm. Why did I come here? Well... Do I need any other reason than to spread the gospel of miracles? My preceptor always said this art should be shared with the world. And such is my only wish. Fair enough. Miracles are pretty damn awesome in Dark Souls 1. Do you remember when we fought in Grave Lord Nito? Yes. With the strength and faith build. Oh my god. No we, fucking chance. No, that was like. The biggest overkill. counter pick in all the video yeah. gaming. <laughs> <laughs> that was proper overkill. No match for Pledonius. Apparently, he's a really hard boss fight as well if you don't. <laughs> with the right build, though, yeah. he's piss easy, though. Yeah. So she's testing herself then. Go for it, spread the word. Miracle shit is good. I mean, paid for this isn't a man of belief, but no, you go not. do your thing and we'll go do ours. Yeah. And the stone golems would like to use miracles. <laughs> there were stone golems in Dark Souls 1 that use healing magic. Oh yeah, there were. I forgot about those. By teaching the good word. <laughs> a lot of people seem to be forgetting shit. I wonder if that's a thing. I expected this cathedral I'm one to of be them. Bustling, <laughs> but there's hardly a soul to be found. So you'd be a good NPC in Dark Souls 2 then, Ben? Fuck <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> would be. What kind of NPC would you be? I'd be the one that to just gives you like useless God. information. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be the moss wife for you. You'd be hollowed out and just giving like moss to people. <laughs> it's good for you. Who is your poison? <laughs> <laughs> Tell Perry I said hi. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh dear. No need oh. for miracles. The gods frown upon such soul scrimpers. Oh, come on. Put the birdcage on. Play forward, this is a man of wealth and taste. He's a scholar. He does research. You know, the real shit. Science. Yes. None of this miracle god's faith tripe. Fine then, woman. I shall go do my thing. And you shall do yours. We will never meet again. We part ways. We part, dear woman. We scoff at you. <laughs> Don't start giving me that title. But it fit you so well in medieval times. <laughs> it does. Ben the dense. Alright. We can be quite dense sometimes. Oh, bless you. Hey, the first step is knowing. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Hey. Fragrant tree branch with a faint sweet smell restores the life of things turned to stone. So we've got one of those that we can use on one statue. Yes, we have a choice of two. 
Extended inhalation of the branches saying can lead to coughing and the nausea. Ooh. Well, I think the thing in betwixt, but I don't think I we think should so do that well. here. Yeah. Yeah. I we'll keep like on exploring we'll... the tower. Yeah. Vera, seek, seek, less, less, less. Vera, seek, seek, less. I got the meme, guys. Oh, is that why they said that? Yeah, because you, you skip her dialogue and she goes, Bear, seek, seek, less. And it's now become <laughs> a meme on the community because people have just done that 24-7. Oh, it's pretty funny. Yeah. So these are my stats so far. As you can see, pretty balanced on the board right now. Intelligence is the highest one. Um, I think I'm going to get adaptability to 15. Okay. And then I'm gonna leave it alone. All right. And then I can focus on like all the other stuff. All the other stuff. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, strength. I think I will leave alone when I get to ten, because there's quite a lot of stuff that I can get at ten all with right. the combination of decks. And then I will just focus on decks, intelligence, and the normal stuff. Fair enough. And then that will be it. For now, we're still doing early game stats. So once we've done that. We can go to the real big stuff. I love how you say early game stats, but you're level four. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. You think cool. they're expensive later on, okay? Uh. <laughs> Alright, are we, are we can go to the dragon? Yeah. Oh my god. Are we ready for this? It's of course. It's a freaking dragon. I was born already. Alright. The Fordius can snipe out the sky with his magic. All right, let's go to the dragon. Oh, okay, you're both here. Oh. Everyone's here. I always say that whenever I'm in the... Uh... <laughs> oh, oh, shit. My back! I'm always, I always say that now when, for example, when I do my lifeguard work, there's a bunch of people like, around me like getting fucking naked and changing <laughs> shit. I'm like, all I want to do is clean this, win is clean this mirror. And the first thing that comes to my mind is just a Smash Bros. Everyone is here. <laughs> oh my god. For fuck's sake, every fucker is here. Joe, Joe's just surrounded by loads of naked people. No dudes, unfortunately. Oh my god, everyone's I'm here! here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. I think... Don't take that out of context, by the way, people. I'm just doing my job. <laughs> These things just tend to happen to me in changing rooms. <laughs> Everyone's all pissed off at me because I killed a dragon rider, I think. Oh, did you fit? Ow, my back again. Well, do, wait, do enemies actually get affected by, like, things that, like, bosses that get killed? Well, the small guys just sat down there before. Oh my god, you're right! Oh, that's really cool! Now they're all after my asshole. They're actually right. They actually are more aggressive now. Look, that guy just got up all the way over there. That's some scary shit. I, I... Everyone's here. Yeah, everyone's actually after you. <laughs> Holy I came shit. to the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> my god. Fuck everything and run. Are oh you... my god. Oh, you're gonna have a whole bunch of them following I'm gonna get the high ground and... and fuck them up. There's one up top, by the way. Hopefully you won't come and kill me. Oh my god, what am I doing? I, dude, I can't fucking fight this! You're insane. Play Fordius is not a man of intelligence right now. The booze is getting to him already. Uh... <laughs> yeah, the dragon's off limits. So it reaches all the way over there, does it? Dragon is not. How the fuck do I fight the dragon? I think I can fight the dragon. I can do it. What if I kill all these people and then I just snipe with my magic? I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna attempt it. Okay, but this is gonna be the Hydra of Dark Souls 2. Next time on Dark Souls 2, all right, Benjamin. Well, I'll give it to you. We'll attempt to fight this dragon. We'll see Yay. you next time. See you next time, everyone.